Hello and welcome back to my channel again and I'm going to show you one more thing uh, it's about the liquify tool how I use it I use it in many ways like uh, fixing this shirt that's pulled up and then removing uh, double chin slimming someone right I'm gonna turn that one into this one same. Okay, let's do it. Let's duplicate the new layer, Command or Control J, and then we're gonna activate the Liquify tool by pressing Shift and Control and then X. It's gonna be Command, Shift, and X on Mac. Alright, then um, uh, let's do something uh, in Liquify tool, the default pressure is 100. I turn it down because if uh, you use the liquid the forward warp tool at hundred percent pressure it's sometimes it's hard to control it's very fast yeah changes is very fast so I turn it down into something like 12 and see uh, it's not that fast anymore so okay I sometimes I check the show backdrop so you will see what's going on when you're using the forward tool but first I'm gonna press something there is a, this tool this is a freeze mass tool what it will do is a uh, I'm gonna protect these guys here so it won't be stretched it won't be affected when I use the forward tool can even um, protect this one too All right and the hair maybe All right and then I'm going to use this tool and then hmm, see and that's about it see the four after okay and then I'm going to mask it just press the mask tool and then I'm gonna use the black. See this. Uh, currently our color now is white. You press X, it will switch to black. Okay, hundred percent opacity, hundred percent flow, and um, brush around here to reveal the changes. What? It's wrong. Oh no. Here, crazy me. So what's going on here? It's bun. Now I'm going to put it back. Oops. All right, look at that. Yeah, so there. Something's not right in this area. Let me just remove it. Oops.
right? That's it. Looks good, right? No one will know. People won't know what you do. And then, yeah. That's it. Before, after. Before, after. All right. So that's it. And then, um, for the double chin, you do the same thing. Control J or Command J. Shift Control X. I'm gonna freeze this thing, this area here. I don't want my mouth to be distorted. Now I use my picture for this because I don't want to show other people's double chin. All right, so please bear with my pictures. Okay. Mm, okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can freeze also this area here. And then we'll use this. Okay, so ugly, huh? And then press and uh, click the mask tool with your brush, and then mask this out. What's wrong? It's back. Press X, turn it into white. Okay. Yep, no double chin, but doesn't look good though. I mean, it's not natural, so we're gonna add some shadows here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I will make a stamp visible layer. It's Shift, Option, or Alt and Control. In Mac, it's Shift, Option, Command, E. It will give you a copy of what you're doing and then I'm gonna go back to liquify I'm gonna freeze this area here and I'm gonna fix this a little bit remove the show mask oops remove the show backdrop okay and to create a little shadow under the neck what i do is um there's two ways you can add a new layer and make it soft light use your brush with a black one and then let's see i think my shadow hardness is not turn the hardness to zero in uh, 100 opacity and about say five in flow so you can just spray here with a little shadow to make it a little real All right you can also use this for contouring See if you know makeup, you can do contouring. And if you want to add a highlight, the same soft light. And then instead of black, use white. See if I want to add some highlights here. Oops. 
highlights here. See, and then highlights here. Okay, and then uh, if you think it's too much, you can always reduce the opacity in the layer. Let's say 80. Maybe it's too much, maybe 60. And then the highlights. Don't make it too much, otherwise you will look blotted. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's for the double chin. No more double chin. Okay. So that's how I use liquify too. Um, um, I also use it with this image. This is, by the way, Mary Navarro. She's a very nice model. You gotta contact her. She's really good. She's a pro. Anyway, see, this was before. See the the bra that's showing here. Um, I get rid of it. Some some people don't like it, so I get rid of it using the same technique. It's gone. It's better and more natural than using a clone tool. Boom. Before, after, before, after. Boom. All right. Thanks, guys. Um, I hope you like it and yeah subscribe to my channel i will try to add more and more simple photoshop things all right bye bye